Hello, my dearest friends, Svetlana Shlopak, the founder of UKVisaSuccess.com is here. Today, I've created a video explaining the rules about registering children as British citizens, uh, those who were born in the UK and outside. What I discovered is that a number of people find these rules uh, to be very confusing. And I'm here to tell you that this should not be the case. In this video, I've created a number of pictures to help you understand four rules of registering children as British citizens. But before we dive straight into this topic, I wanted to invite you to download an amazing free resource which I've created uh, for you to help you understand uh, British citizenship applications. I've created two mind maps which will help you understand uh, the three-year route and uh, the five-year naturalization routes. The three-year route is for those who is married to a British citizen and wants to naturalize, or in other words, uh, wants to become a British citizen himself. And the five-year route is for those who are applying for British citizenship on the basis of their five-year residence in the UK. You can request your copy absolutely free at ukvisasuccess.com forward slash BC, which stands for British Citizenship. Now let us consider the four rules about registering children as British citizens. There are circumstances when children do not acquire their British citizenship automatically, solely due to some old outdated rules which, as it appears, have been discriminating either women or unmarried fathers. For example, children who were born before 1st of January 1983 to British mothers outside the UK were unable uh, to get a British citizenship through their mother. And also, the same discrimination happened uh, to children who were born to British citizen fathers, but who were not married uh, to the mother of the child at the time of the child's birth. And uh, when this happened before 1st of July 2006, unfortunately, due to the old rules, the children were unable to get their British citizenship. Luckily, the law was changed in a way to stop the discrimination, allowing children born in these circumstances uh, to register as British citizens afterwards. Where children were born to British citizens' moms outside the UK before 1983, the Home Office had a concession which allowed children under the age of 18 to register as a British citizens before the child's 18th birthday. But because of the nature of the concession and because of the age limits, this concession ended in 2000. So what's happened afterwards? Afterwards, it became law and by the provisions of Section 4C of the British Nationality Act 1981, children and adults who were born outside the UK before 1st of January 1983 to British citizens' moms are now allowed uh, to register as British citizens. And the form they need to use is called UKM, which stands for UK mothers. Moving on to unmarried uh, British citizen fathers of children who were born before 1st of July 2006. They can now register under the provisions of Section 4F of British Nationality Act 1981 if children were born in the UK and 4G if children were born outside the UK. And the form to use is called UKF, which stands for UK Fathers. In order for kids of unmarried British citizen fathers to get registered, they need to meet certain conditions. First of all, as I already mentioned before, they will need to be born after 1st of January 1983 and before 1st of July 2006. The second requirement to meet is a mother was not married to the natural father of the child and also the children have never been a British citizens and they would have become a British citizen automatically if their parents had been married at the time of their birth. Also, it is a requirement in order for the child to register as a, 
a British citizen in these circumstances, they will need to be under the age of 18 and also they will need to get a consent from both the mother and the natural father of the child. However, there are certain exceptions uh, to this rule. Consent from both parents is not required where one of the parents has died or where there are special grounds to waive consent in the exceptional compassionate circumstances of particular case. How can you prove uh, that you are the father of the child? Well, parentity can be proved in a number of ways. First of all, the easiest one is where the person was named as the father on a birth certificate issued within one year of the child's birth. And then we have other evidence that can show that a man is the natural father. And these evidence can include, but are not limited to DNA test reports, court orders and other evidence that show the paternity. And the forms for registering UKM and UKF are free of charge. However, the applicants will need to pay the ceremony fee. The next registration rule is for children who were born in the UK on or after 1st of January 1983 and the child's parents were not British or settled before the child's birth but at some point after the child's birth one of the parents or both parents became either British citizens or settled in the UK. In these circumstances the child will be allowed to register as British citizens but they will need to do so before they reach their 18th birthday and the form to use is called MN1 which stands for minor one and this is called application for registration of a child under the age of 18 as a British citizen and this is not a free form so the parents will need to pay a fee in order to register their child in these circumstances. And uh, there is one more registration rule which I would like you to be aware of and uh, these rules are for children who were born in the UK after 1st of January 1983 and spent the first 10 years of their life in the UK and were not absent from the UK for more than 90 days. However, if the child meets this requirement, if the child was born in the UK and spent the first 10 years of their life in the UK, however, they do not meet the absences rule, the Secretary of State will be prepared to exercise some discretion in these circumstances. And the form they need to use in these circumstances is called Form T. And this is it, my friends. These were the rules about registering uh, children as British citizens in the UK. Now, let me briefly summarize them for you. The first one is where we have a British citizen mom and the child who was born outside the UK before 1st of January 1983. Uh, children and adults are allowed to register as British citizens as long as they can prove that. And then we have uh, rules about uh, British citizens' fathers who were not married to the mothers of the children who were born before 1st of July 2006 but after 1st of January 1983. It doesn't really matter whether or not they were born in the UK or outside, they will still be entitled to register. The next rule is where we had parents who settled or became British citizens after the child's birth and the child was born in the UK after 1st of January 1983. In these circumstances, the child will be allowed to register. And the next rule is where we have a child who was born in the UK and spent the first 10 years of their life in the UK and were not absent from the UK for more than 90 days. And this is it, my friends. These were the four rules about uh, registering children as British citizens. I really hope that after watching this video, you are no longer confused with regards to this topic and can easily identify whether or not your child is eligible to register as a British citizen. And before I finish this video, I would like uh, to invite you guys, those who are thinking of practicing immigration law or those who are immigration law students, to attend 
a free masterclass where I give you an overview of 30 UK immigration rules and areas of UK immigration law. I teach this a free masterclass on a regular basis and if you register your interest at ukvisasuccess.com forward slash immigration course free masterclass all with dashes I'll let you know when the next masterclass becomes available. And you can also get a free copy of your newsletter ukvisasuccess.com newsletter if you subscribe at ukvisasuccess.com forward slash newsletter. Have an amazing week guys.